Idol number SCP-7397, object class Chocolate. Special containment procedures. With approval from Site 400's present site director, Technician Graves has been granted permission to continue his long-term employment with the Foundation. Due to the unpredictable nature of both SCP-7397-A and B, permanent containment procedures are still being drafted and discussed by Site 400's containment committee. Description SCP-7397 is the designation given to the relationship between two distinct anomalies, both of them ultimately affecting senior technician Malice Graves. The co-head of Site 400 Department of Esoteric Substance Reduction. SCP-7397-A designates an unknown non-physical force capable of manipulating the local probability and or coincidental factors surrounding technician graves. Research analysis has shown that SCP-7397-A seems to use its capabilities in order to increase the likelihood in which technician graves would consume lemonade, the method of which varies from time to time. SCP-7397-B designates an entity that occasionally manifests itself within Technician Graves' proximity. SCP-7397-B takes the form of a two-meter-tall, gray-skinned, hairless humanoid entity that possesses no visible facial features or reproductive organs. SCP-7397-B is described as being semi-translucent, though it can still interact with physical objects. SCP-7397 personifies whenever Technician Graves is present with the chance of consuming the lemonade created by SCP-7397's manipulation of probability. When this occurs, SCP-7397-B will immediately manifest and will use any means necessary in its power to prevent Technician Graves from consuming said lemonade. As with SCP-7397-A, the method of which it does this varies from time to time. It is currently unknown what the exact motive of either SCP-7397-A and B are with Technician Graves. As despite extensive conducted medical examinations, Technician Graves had shown no evidence of any permanent allergies with consuming lemonade. Addendum 73971 Notable Events The following is a list of known incidents where SCP-7397 A and B is recorded to affect Technician Graves. 9th of March, 2019 During his leisure time with other Foundation personnel in a nearby town, Technician Graves noticed a lemonade stand organized by two juvenile girls. Upon Technician Graves' Asking the girls for a cup of lemonade, SCP-7397-B manifested with a metal baseball bat and began smashing the lemonade stand along with stomping out all the lemons the girls had with its foot. When no traces of the stand are left, SCP-7397-B demanifested. The girls were amnesticized on site and the remains of the lemonade stand were transported to Site 400 for incineration. Technician Graves, out of pity, slipped a 20-pound note in each of the girls' pockets as compensation. 27th of August, 2019, after attaining the final score for a football game hosted by Site 400's Morale Committee, Technician Graves' fellow players attempted to dunk the contents of a water jug dispenser on him to celebrate his victory. As the water jug contained lemonade, SCP-7397-B immediately manifested with a handgun and fired two shots upon the water jug, causing it to be dropped and spill its contents. It fired three more bullets at the jug before demanifesting. Technician Graves score celebration proceeded as normal. 7th of February, 2020 Whilst conducting maintenance on the substance disposal section of Aquamanic Abatement Facility AAF Gamma 400, an unknown anomalous chemical reaction occurred, causing all the waste stored within the facility to somehow convert into lemonade. 
The waste storage suddenly breached both its inner and outer layers, which resulted in the lemonade completely flooding a portion of the facility. As the lemonade began pushing to where Technician Graves was located, SCP-7397-B manifested itself operating in Ocean Submersible. SCP-7397-B proceeded to forcibly grab Technician Graves and situate him along with itself into the submersible before closing the entrance hatch. The submersible was found floating by itself in the sea of lemonade by emergency task force operatives. Inside was Technician Graves eating snacks that SCP-7397-B left him with. 13th of July, 2020. See Addendum 7397-2. Not applicable. Addendum 7397-2. Instant Log. On the 13th of July, 2020, SCP-610 Arc, a humanoid entity composed of lemonade temporarily housed in Site 400, capable of basic motion and speech, and becomes agitated upon sensing a human individual who have been drank lemonade in their lifetime, reached its containment and began making its way towards Technician Graves. Upon receiving the dispatch for this breach, on-site security attempted to evacuate Technician Graves into a safe room until SCP-610 Ark is properly recontained. The following is a video transcript of the incident. Begin log. Footage shows Technician Graves being escorted by three site security personnel through a hallway that leads to the safe room. Technician Graves, who wasn't informed regarding the intricacies of the breach, asks one of the security officers what's going on. To which he responds that they will explain once the incident is confirmed to be resolved. However, before they could arrive at the safe room, a ventilation shaft above them is forcibly pushed open, and SCP-610 Ark drops down from it. Coming face to face with Technician Graves and the security personnel, in its hand is a screwdriver, which it uses to point towards Technician Graves. Drink me! NOW! The three security personnel take out their issued handguns and immediately open fire upon SCP-610 Ark. Due to the semi-liquid nature of SCP-610 Ark, the bullets simply pass through it. It drops the screwdriver it was holding and makes a beeline for Technician Graves. At this point, SCP-7397-B manifests in front of SCP-610 Ark, wearing what seems to be a flamethrower. Before SCP-7397-B could press on the trigger for the flamethrower, a faulty pipeline above it dislodges itself and falls on top of it, pinging it completely. Upon review of the incident, it is believed that SCP-7397-A finally realized that at that point, it could just use its properties to halt SCP-7397-B from fulfilling its duties. The security personnel attempted to help SCP-7397-B by removing the pipe but they are also incapacitated by a second faulty pipeline falling on top of them. Technician Graves, noticing the sudden turn of events, runs the opposite direction away from SCP-610 Ark. SCP-610 Ark, SCP-610 Ark, who was also initially distracted by the unexpected development, gives chase to him, eventually catching up and successfully pouncing on top of him. Drink now! SCP-610 Ark chokes Technician Graves' neck, forcing him to open his mouth. A small droplet of lemonade drips from SCP-610 Ark's face and falls into Technician Graves' open mouth. He accidentally swallows it, but now has a confused look on his face. SCP-610 Ark releases his hold on Technician Graves. Huh. Sour. A bright light shines through Technician Graves' mouth before he spontaneously self-combusts. British cuts out. End log. After the incident, a recovery team was sent to investigate and rescue any survivors. The four security personnel were found to be alive, still stuck under the fallen pipeline, with SCP-7397-B not being present with them. 
Through the hallway, the team also found traces of lemonade on the floor, confirmed to be excess residue from SCP-610 Ark. However, despite extensive examination, the actual remains of Technician Graves were not recovered. SCP-7397 has been reclassified as neutralized. Its document will be updated shortly.